my goodness. So usually I like to do an unboxing, but there's nothing to unbox. Hello, are you hungry? Hey, what are we having for dinner? I'm not answering the questions, you're looking right at it. What is it? Ah, my glass is steamed up. Yummy. But anyway. That didn't. If it came undamaged, I'd be okay with it, but clearly it didn't survive the plane ride. So, contents are questionable. This is supposedly a 4 channel, 2.4 gigahertz drone. So, we'll see. We'll get into it. We'll see what it's about. Choking hazard. Warning. Choking hazard. So, it's a little guy. Alright, let's see what's inside real quick. I don't care about the packaging because they didn't bother to pack it nicely. Just threw the drone everywhere. Instruction booklet, USB charge cable, and drone. So, remote control. Very poor quality. Looks like it's AAA. We have AAA batteries. Unless you want to take the drone apart, the battery is stuck in place. Interesting. Well, let's at least get it charged up and see how it flies. And we'll be back. I mean, look at that thing is destroyed. Alright, so the drone's charged now. Single battery, single charge port. So they say the the binding sequence is to have the throttle in the lowest position, power on the drone, power on the controller. Raise the throttle and lower the throttle. Okay. So it's turned on now. Let's see how it flies. Oh, this is so small. That's what she said! <laughs> So hard to fly? It's twitchy. It's not terrible, but... It's not good yeah. either? It's not the best. When I fly this thing, if you can't get into a hover, I don't think I can get into a hover either. Well, I'm just trying to stabilize it. From... Going up and down, up and down. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Daddy. So I'm trying to trim it out to make it hover without. So you don't like it as much? Yeah. Whoa. Where are you going? Oh, what? Yeah, that's hard to fly. So when I'm flying it, the controls somehow get mixed up. So I'll be I'll be pushing the transmitter full forward and it's not moving. And I reset and it starts to I'll reset the controls and it starts to sway one way or the other and it just loses its control. The ability to control. So I don't know if that's just the quality of the build and the sensors. Uh oh. Daddy's trying to make me fly a drone that he can orbit you and fly. Well, I can, I can fly it. Just want to see what you think about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's, it's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. It goes so fast. I'm not used to fast drones. Well, just take it slow and try to fly it. Oh. Yep, the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I 
He's just a little guy. What <laughs> was that one doing? Yeah, just take one. Oh. No, that's not where you want to go. <laughs> but he's going the other way. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Open it into everything. Yeah. It's, it's not the easiest. It's the hardest. Yeah. Out of all of them you've flown. That's difficult, huh? It's very difficult. Yeah. Compared to the other small drones I've flown, this is the smallest and the most difficult. This is cool. It, the battery must be getting low. Why? Because this is cold throttle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the front lights are flashing. So yeah, the batteries are low, I guess. So we did continue to fly the drone throughout the night and getting more familiar with the controls. We were able to get a better uh, understanding of how the drone worked and its quirks. And features so as we progressed in flying it we uh, learned how to fly it better it never really got perfect there was still some issues with the flight controls and power inputs and things of that nature so perfect drone not really uh, it is a small tiny drone would not recommend it for smaller children the age range it recommends is either 12 or 14 years of age by that point I think there are better drones out there to purchase for kids of that age so uh, if you're maybe a college student, maybe this will be fun to get a couple of these and uh, fly throughout the dorm rooms and stuff like that. But definitely for a first-time flyer or a young child, I would uh, recommend staying away from this drone. So I hope you uh, like the new way I edited this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, tell me in the comments below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments as well. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks for checking out my channel. I'll see you next time.